for not doing the work of God, is it excuse? Is it excusable enough? Your excuses for not going to school, is it acceptable? Your excuses for not achieving or fulfilling your goals, are they acceptable? The Lord wants us to wake up today. God bless us, beloved. How are we today? How is our families? The Lord is able to bring all things to perfection. The storms, the trials, the tribulation, they are just for a moment. They are strangers and they are going one day. A day you least expected, the Lord is taking them from your way. All you just need to do is to walk in holiness. Love the Lord. Do the one you can do humanly and the Lord will see you through. Welcome to our moments with the Lord. I still remain your friend and sister, Sister Isioma Uche. Can we please take a word of prayer? Father, we thank you for today. We are about to hear your word, O oh God. Open our understanding, speak through me, Holy Ghost. I have the word of my own. That at the end, O oh God, only your name will be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll be seeing a topic today that says excuses. Excuses. What are excuses? Excuses are reasons or explanations given to justify a fault or an offense. Everyone gives excuses. It's a popular word. Oh, I did this because of this. I was not able to come to the church because of this. I was not able to finish my education because of that. I was not able to fulfill my career because of this. These are all excuses. But the big question is, are excuses genuine? The excuses we give, are they accepted in the sight of God? If man accepts them, does God accept them? Are you sure your excuses cannot be exchanged? Are you sure you cannot make a way instead of giving excuses? Now let's see what the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 12. Genesis 3 12 says this, And the man said, the man is talking to God, you know when man sin, God began to ask them, What happened? And the man said, The woman whom thou givest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. That was the excuse the man gave. But was the excuse accepted on the side of God? Now the woman also said her own part of the story. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent picked me and I did it. Now, who is now to be blamed? The man says it is the woman. The woman says it's the serpent. Now, are you going to say it's not God that gave them a beautiful garden to inhabit to dwell? The question is, you are not excusable. You did it because you want to do it. You did it because you thought it's an excuse to you. But does God accept it? Romans chapter 2 verses 1 have this to say. Therefore, thou art an inexcusable, O man. The Bible says, man, you have no excuse. You know, so many times we give excuses. This is why I did this. But to us, we toss their excuses. But to us, we toss they are accepted. But are they actually accepted? In Exodus chapter 4, verses 10, 
And the Lord told Moses, Moses, I have called you to go and save my people. And Moses began to tell the Lord. He says, Lord, you know that I love you. You know that I would have wanted to do it. But Lord, you know I cannot speak well. I am not eloquent. Let's go there and see what the Bible says. And let's see if the Lord accepted the excuses of Moses. Exodus 4, verses 10. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither yet so far, nor since thou hast spoken unto the servants, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Bible says in Exodus 4, 14, And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. Because Jeremiah chapter 1 from 5, sorry, it says, Even before you were conceived in your mother's womb, the Lord says he knows you. He knows you cannot speak and is giving you an assignment. Don't you think that he that gives you an assignment is able to make a way for you? Excuses are not acceptable. In the sight of God, man can take it, but does God accept it? Your excuses for not doing the work of God, is this excuse? Is it excusable enough? Your excuses for not going to school, is it acceptable? Your excuses for not achieving or fulfilling your goals, are they acceptable? The Lord wants us to wake up today. Now, how can we overcome excuses? One of the reasons to overcome excuses is determination. You must be determined. Proverbs 24, 16 says, it says, a righteous man falls a lot of times. He said, but what happened? When the righteous fall, what happened? They still rise up. So falling is not a problem, but not wanting to rise up. He says, for, let's see, let's go there. In Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, he said, for a just man falleth how many times? Seven times and rise up again but the wicked shall fall into mischief when we fall the Lord wants us to rise up again the next one is putting God first in all we do in that endeavor in that business in that career in that your pursuit in your marriage in the lives of your children put God first next how can we overcome excuses? We have to overcome fear through the word of the Lord. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, the Lord says, He has not given unto us the spirit of fear, but of boldness, of sound mind, and of power. Taking responsibility for your mistakes. Do not blame other people for, their, for, for what happened to you, like what Adam did. Adam said, Lord, it is the woman you gave to me. The woman said, it is the serpent that deceived me. When you make mistakes, accept them. Begin to walk them out and ask for God's grace and mercy. Learn to pick up yourself from wherever we are falling. If you are failed, if we have failed yesterday, rise up, never remain there. We can still make it if we take another step. You might take another step, you fail. Take another step, keep forging ahead. The Lord is able to see us through. Identifying our weaknesses and working on them. Stop comparing yourself with others. The Bible says that those that compare themselves with others, they are not wise. Most time we do such thing, but let's get this in our mind. We might have best mates, but nobody have what destiny mates or death mates. Nobody knows when he or she is going back. So let's stop comparing. I'm not saying we should not learn the good things that we see in people, but don't compare yourself because we all are different and we carry different graces. Stop what's Stop what we should stop self pity. Begin to pity yourself and sympathize with yourself. Then the last for today is no procrastination. 
stop procrastinating. A lot of us keep on procrastinating. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it next tomorrow. Why not do it now? Tomorrow might be too late. I just want to give us the opportunity of accepting Jesus into our lives. You can say this word of prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. I'm sorry for all the wrongs I've committed. Have mercy on me. Write my name in the book of life. I say bye-bye to the works of the enemies. Thank you, my Father, for accepting me into your life. Thank you, Father, for calling me your own. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Thank you so much. And big thanks to everyone that will be sharing the videos, subscribing, liking. Do not fail to leave your comments and do not fail to share with your friends. God bless you. Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye.